All right, welcome to the first edition of this new team. And as you can see, I swapped out Bear uh, swapped in Bear Skeeter for the Darmanitan. And opponent is a Gudra and Salazzle. Very interesting. And more Pico. Not really sure what's going to happen, but I think Wimscott Mimikyu is safe. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I feel like I need to bring Sylveon. I feel like I need to bring Sylveon and Bear Skewda. Uh, let's see. Corviknight's a little threatening. I think Mystical Fire is fine. Ghost is good against it. I think, yeah, I think Bear Skew is what we need. Uh, more Pico, I'm not really threatened. Threatens, I don't think, any of my team. And Appleton, I think we can deal with it. Slazzle, I think anyone can deal with it. Yeah, I think this is the best combination. Alright. So we're going for a very standard, I think, pretty standard lead and Pokemon to bring. Alright. I just felt like Growling Dimantan just wasn't pulling its weight. And it's really good against like Dragapult, but I haven't been seeing too many Dragapults lately, so. Alright. Okay. I think we're just going to switch Rue onto the Salazzle. It's likely just have Sash. And we're just going to Swords Dance. Uh, the Mimikyu. I don't know what... Oh! Fake out. Very good. And... This we get a free bear skew to switch in. And a heat wave. Bear Skeeter avoids. Awesome. Yeah, so even if the fake out happens, it's not a big deal because we get a free switch. Alright. And we're just going to liquidation this Salazzle and play rough and more pico i imagine slazel has a sash all right that's fine i don't i don't know bear i don't know more pico's speed though Ooh, very good so it is faster than mimic you very good to know And, oh, the Sash was there. Okay. Alright, we're just going to go same play. And we're going to Shadow Sneak the Morpico. Heat Wave, it's fine. Pretty confident Bear Skeeter just goes to liquidation kill. I'm not sure what that item that Slazzle had. Regardless, we're already up 2 0. We're already up 2. Corviknight? Okay. And Gudra. Um, okay. This is very interesting. Um, I think we just liquidation onto this Corviknight, and we attempt to play rough this Gudra. We should outspeed kill Gudra fairly easily. I don't see why we wouldn't. Okay, Dynamax. Uh, if he Dynamaxes the Gudra, he may live. Nope. Dynamax Carbonite. That's fine. And I'm pretty sure 
I'm pretty sure Bearski is still at speeds. Um, the Carbonite, regardless. And yeah, Gujar is going down. That's fine. Oof. Paralyze. Max Steel Spike. Fine. Into Mimikyu. That's fine. And I think we're just going to go into, yeah, we're just going to go into Whimscott. Uh, Bearski is still out speeds. Uh, we can steal its berry. That's pretty cheeky. Or we can just Helping Hand. I think Helping Hand is a little bit more important. And, yep, Helping Hand. Liquidation. Decent amount of damage. Rocky Helmet. Max Steel Spike. Okay. Yeah, that defense rise is a little bit of an issue. I think, yeah. Alright. So Mystical Fire is probably my best option uh, against this thing. So we're just going to Liquidation again and protect the Sylveon. And then we should be able to uh, Dynamax KO with, uh, with a Max Flare. Steel Spike, it's fine. And yeah, we're gonna go for a Liquidation again. And Dynamax, Max Flare. I imagine Sylveon can live this, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't see why he couldn't. Especially in, Dy in Dynamax. We aren't doing much with the Barisquita, but it's enough. Ooh! I don't think that was a good play. And yep, we just blow it up. GG. All right. And now on to the next battle. Welcome to another battle with this team. And we're facing pretty clear trick room and some after you shenanigans. So, uh, I think a Scrafty lead and a Beriscuta is in order. Um, if we can fake out his after you, that'd be nice. Beriscuta is really nice. Um, actually, hmm. This is a little tricky. He has to follow me, right? Uh, so I'm actually going to go with Sylveon. I'm going to take Scrafty and back. Um, and I think Mimikyu is probably the best generic thing for this team. So he has some redirection, uh, for, uh, he has redirection for his trick room. This is probably one of the most interesting trick rooms I've seen. Uh, I'm a little worried about the after you being the lead, but, um, I think this will be all right. A bear skewed out of Sylveon lead, I think we'll be fine. Um, let's see. If he leads that, I will actually Dynamax Bear Skewda, protect Sylveon. 
and then we'll go from there. Well, Dynamax Verascuta into our inset rain. I think he's more likely to go with the follow me Hatterene, which is this lead is a direct counter for any sort of follow me. Ooh, very good. Uh, this is very good for my opponent. Uh, this is a pretty good lead for him. I'm going to, uh, protect Spare Skuda. And then we're just going to Hyper Voice and see what happens. And I think that's the best play. He does not have any of his, uh, what looks to be normal strats right here. Ooh, a straight up Dynamax. Very interesting. And, oh, it's a Sweeper Togekiss. Okay. If it goes for it against Verascuda, I think we'll be okay. And a Max Starfall probably into Verascuda? No. He's going straight to the Sylveon. Interesting. And a Scald probably- Ooh, he double targeted his Sylveon. He was really afraid of that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, Sylveon Protect. Uh, Lick... No. I could Max Knuckle into Gastrodon. I like the Max Knuckle and Gastrodon. We're gonna Preserve Sylveon. And we're going to Scrafty. Uh, no, actually Mimikyu. Mimikyu can take a hit. Get plus one. And we should be all right. Maybe Q taking a max move is really, really beneficial. And it's plus one for Q too. Bear Skeet is always going to. I'm pretty sure he could max your stream. I'm not sure where that lands us in speeds. Mimikyu disguise takes it. We also have one Mary, so he can't burn us. It's a little chunk of damage on Verisquita. All right, we're gonna max Knuckle again on a Gastrodon, and I think we take the risk in Swords Dance. And just go for a really scary Mimikyu that can uh, Shadow Sneak and kill Togekiss <laughs> next turn. I think that's the play. Gastrodon is almost guaranteed KO this turn. <laughs> and yeah, we just go from there. And we still outspeed. Starfall. Ooh. 
Bear Skeeter dies. But we're had a we have a plus four Mimikyu, which is ridiculously scary. And I think Sylveon is free to come back in. I think. Yeah, I think Sylveon has a f is free to come back in. And Sylveon should be able to take care of Gastrodon pretty well. Hyper Voice and a Shadow Sneak into Togekiss. I really don't think a Togekiss can survive a plus four Shadow Sneak. It's basically 160 power. Ooh, it survives. That's big. But neither of them survived the hyper voice we still have plus four in the killing field all right vile plume and okay And I think best play is protect and we shadow sneak this Torkoal make it do little to no damage yeah I think that's a play and then we shadow sneak plus four Torque. Uh, onto. Yep. Okay. Flamethrower, it's fine. And we just have Scrafty. Okay, uh, we're going to Mystical Fire, Torkoal, or we could Hyper Beam. I do like a Hyper Beam. Or Mystical, mm, we'll Mystical Fire to Torkoal. Or a Hyper Beam. I think we'll Hyper Beam, just KO this Torkoal, that's the real threat. And we'll fake out Vile Bloom. decent damage. Hyper Beam. Just eliminate Torkoal from the field. And that's the reason we have Hyper Beam. We just want to eliminate something. And we... We just got a Throat Chop, really. Sleep power, it's fine. I was gonna stall out the sun basically. So uh Sylveon's gonna protect. And we attempt to throw chop again. Bobloom should have like no damage on Scrafty regardless. Ooh, he went for it. All right, we're just going to mystical fire and throat chop again. It's 
Scrafty woke up. Throat chop. That's a lot of damage. And a Mystical Fire. Yep, that's game. Alright. I guess we'll see you guys next time. On that, well, next battle. Alright, welcome to another battle with this team with the addition of Erisquita. And this looks like a very blatant trick room. Uh, with some rain. Okay. So, I'm going to have to say Bearskuda, Sylveon is a great lead here. Or actually, is Scrafty even better? Scrafty might be even better. I think Scrafty is even better. Okay. And let's see, Rotom. Rotom does fairly well. What about Mimikyu or Whimsicott? I think Mimikyu does really well here too. I think Mimikyu does really well. Yeah. Uh, I could do uh, Whimsicott plays, but I think the better play is what we have right here. The best play. I love the Max Darkness into Sylveon Hyper Voice combo. Uh, it confirms a lot of KOs. We can stop Trick Room entirely. I think there's a lot to like about that combo. And we're seeing... Okay. Okay. Very interesting. I think this uh, Intimidate is relevant. Uh, we're just going for a Fake Out into Pelipper and Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice and fake out the Pelipper. There's nothing to do about uh, Mimikyu trying to go for a play rough, but uh, I'm not sure what it's going to do. We can't really prevent a Trick Room from this setup. I imagine it is a Trick Room, actually, since it's going after Sylveon. I'm gonna go for another Hyper Voice, and we're gonna take back Scrafty and go into our own mini queue. I think that is the play. I was gonna let, uh, we're just gonna let Sylveon do its thing, and spam Hyper Voice basically. Okay, Pelper for goes for Surf. And I just take the skies, sure. And I he's not going for a shadow claw. And I, I still have it slow. Yeah. My opponent's kinda of doomed from the beginning. There's a Vika Volt and a Ferrothorn. All weak to fire, we're just going to protect Sylveon. And I think we just Shadow Sneak this uh, Vika Volt. Try to stall out uh, this rain a little bit. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be a thing. A thunder. Kills Mimikyu could be a problem. It does not. And paralyzed. I just let Mary out of it. Uh, is Sylveon into Scrafty good? I think so. We lose our, pl our plus one special. But we just want to preserve it. Is a big thing. And we're going for another Shadow Sneak into the Vega Bolt. Just so we can blow it up. And we get a minus one onto... We just get a minus one onto the Ferrothorn. 
Shatter Sneak. Jar Ball does basically nothing to Scrafty. Bug Buzz. That's fine. We can Rotom. Uh, we can probably... We can over... We can put Sun up. We can put Sun. And I think... Yeah, the best way to do this is fake out the Vika Volt. And... Dynamax, Max Flare... And let's just Max Flare the, uh, Ferrothorn. And just see how that does. Dynamaxes, that's all right. Is it a Vika Volt? It's not the Vika Volt. That's incredibly relevant. That is very, very relevant. That means only. Uh, that means only Scrafty is really doing. Only the Ferrothorn is doing anything this turn. Is really, really, really relevant. Fake out. Vika Volt does nothing. Max Phantasm, that's okay. We take that. No problem. And we max flare. Put up sun. That's a lot of damage. And we just outspeed kill everything. We're going to drain punch into the Ferrothorn. And max flare the Meek Bolt. I don't... Yeah, he just forfeits. There was nothing you could do. Alright, and I think that's all for today.